Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. In today's Juicy Podcast Girl Talk, I'm going to be telling you how to attract the man you want using your feminine energy. I promise you, every single thing I'm going to tell you guys in this video is going to work like a charm. Ever since high school, I've always been able to get any guy I want. I'm talking about the popular dude that every girl wanted that couldn't get. I always got using these tips. So sit back, relax. I love doing these podcast girl talks because you don't have to physically like see me on the screen. You could be cleaning, laying down, doing whatever you want, you know, while you catch this tea, okay? If you're new to my channel, welcome to the Bella Gang. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Without further ado, let's jump right into this video. Okay, so ladies, boom. Number one, if you want to use your feminine energy to attract the man you want, number one is you have to be a little bit more feminine. I know, you know, this is for all my girls who, you know, hate to dress up, hate to look sexy. You kind of have a tomboy thing about you. You know, when you sit, when you sit down, okay, you sit down with your legs wide open, you know, your posture is all bad. I'm telling you right now, if you want to attract the man you want, you have to have a clear conscience, okay, of your mannerisms. It's very important. When you walk into a room, shoulders back, always make sure that you have keep have and keep eye contact with anyone you come across, okay? Confidence is everything. A man can sense your confident attitude from across the room. You want to be the light in the room. You want to walk into that room and own the goddamn event that you're going to, okay? If you know the guy that you really like is going to be at a certain place, then you have to. It's a must. You have to find that inner baddie confident woman in you. Now, let me just say I wasn't always confident. Um, My mom used to I used to get beat as a child because my mom used to tell me, um, why you don't keep eye contact with people? It, it makes you look like you, you're not confident in yourself, like you have low self-esteem. Well, sis, I did have low self-esteem. Like, that's why I never kept eye contact with people. And another thing, I slouch. To this day, I still slouch. Um, and I forget, like, okay, you know, I forget that I'm slouching. And then I'm like, damn. <laughs> my mom's like, okay, your shoulders, put your shoulders back. She always has to remind me of that, even my trainer. Now I'm getting better at it because I wear waist trainers and waist trainers automatically like fix not only um, gives you the illusion of an hourglass frame but it fix your posture I have a good one from Amazon too but that's not let, let me not get off topic but like I said the minute you walk in that room make sure that your shoulders are back all right and that you keep eye contact moving on now let's see let's say you know you see the guy that you want across the room give him a quick glance you know, don't have a, a resting bitch face, okay? You want to have a, an, an inviting expression on yourself, that on your face. That's not too eager, but not mean, just right. So what I mean by that is, and practice with me right now, okay? You want to raise your eyebrows, okay? Squint your eyes a little bit, and then do a slight grin. Not a full smile, but just a slight grin, okay? So eyebrows up. Squint your eyes just a little bit and a slight grin and boom, right there. That is the face that's going to make him walk his ass over to you and introduce himself. You know why? Because you look sexy, you look confident, and make sure you don't stare at him for too long. You guys, you keep eye contact with him, slight grin, and then you continue your conversation or you just, you know... Just pretend like you're occupied and, you know, with whatever you're doing. But don't look at him for too long because you don't you don't want to give off that, all right, damn, she keep looking at me, she's on my body type of vibe. You want to give him just a little bit to reel him in without looking too desperate. Um, I remember my high school crush. Quick little story time. I remember my high school crush, right? I just transferred to a brand new school after getting kicked out of another school for getting into this fight with this girl. That's a, another story time in its own, but I went to this brand new school and one of my old best friends from junior high school, um, I happened to see her and she was pretty much, she was very popular and she was pretty much um, showing me every dude in the school and, you know, like keeping me up to date with like, you know, who's popular and just, she was just pretty much, you know, showing me the ropes around the school. So while she was talking to me, we were in the, in the hallway, I happened to look 
and across, you know, the hall and I see the sexiest dude I ever seen in my freaking um young 16-year-old life, okay? He was tall, he was light-skinned, he was very attractive. He had braids and I was like, "Who is that?" She was like, "Oh, um that's such and such but I don't know if he's gonna like you he's the most popular dude in school like he's well respected and he only dates like popular girls you know no shade you you know you cute and all that but I don't know if he's gonna like you so you know I immediately was kind of like um discouraged that she said that like why would you say that but then I said all right I'm gonna show her you know for some reason, I just really I had a strong attraction to him and I wanted him to approach me. And this is what I did, you guys. So listen up. This this story gets good. So the next day, um, <laughs> I so the next day, right? I um I went on the app. If you're from Queens, then you know what the app is. At that time I was working at McDonald's, so I didn't really have much money like that. But I went on the app, I got some really cute jeans, a really cute top, and I was like, what's gonna make me stand out than everybody in this damn school? So then a light went off in my head and I'm like, bingo, hills. At this time, America's next top model came out and I was like, um, extremely obsessed with that show. And in my head, I thought I was a whole model. I just love wearing heels. And I never was like a sneaker person. So the next day I went to school, I had a white t-shirt and jeans, but it was a fitted white t-shirt and jeans. It showed, it showed my cute little figure and it had some cute little heels with it. Fresh wash and set, lip gloss. I didn't wear any makeup, just lip gloss, fresh wash and set. And, um, I knew that me, my friend and him happened to have the same, um, we have to have we happen to have the same lunch period, so I made sure that um, I used her as a decoy to because I told her like, um, where do you sit? She said, oh, I sit at the popular table with with him and all my other friends. So I said, perfect. So I sat down with her and I made sure not to sit in the actual seat, but on top of the lunch table. <laughs> On top of the lunch table because he was sitting on top of the lunch table across from us. And I wanted him to see me looking cute and just approach me. So, no lie, you guys. Within 10 minutes, my friend went to go. So I don't even know where she went. She just got up. I think she went to the bathroom. But I was still sitting on top of the um t lunch table. And then, guess what, you guys? His friend... Okay, some some big dude came and um, tapped me on my shoulder. I was like, yes, like, can I help you? And he was like, yeah, my man's want to talk to you. I'm like, who's, who's your man? Like, what? I turned around, you guys, and it was him, the guy that my friend said I could not get. And I feel like the reason why he even asked his friends to approach me is because he saw my confidence. My shoulders was back. I gave him a little eye contact. Then I looked away and I had my lip gloss and my lips was looking juicy. I wasn't, I looked sexy, but I wasn't overdoing it. And I promise if you, if you have that type of vibe, you know, then any guy is just going to happen for you. Like they are going to come to you like a freaking um, honeybees on honey. So long story short, ladies, um, I told him if he want to talk to me, let him come to me on my himself. So lo and behold, he came up to me and my friend, her jaw dropped when she returned back to the table. She saw me and him talking for the whole lunch period. And, um, after he, wait, wait, blah, blah, blah. long story short, he, um, we hit it off right away. He told me what his name was. I told him what school I came from. And, you know, we had a really great conversation. Um, and then he gave me his number, <laughs> told me to call him, and the rest was history. And, like, every day we were together ever since. Um, but my friend, she couldn't believe it. She actually put me to the side, like, girl, what are you doing talking to him? Like, you went over to him? I'm like, no. He sent his friend to talk. He wanted to talk to me. She was like, Really? And I'm like, yup. And I was so happy that in front of her face, he, she saw him talking to me. You know what I'm saying? Because I felt like what she said was a little shady. Like, oh, you're not good enough. Ladies, don't ever let any one of your friends, jealous ass friends, tell you that you're not good enough to get a certain type of guy. You know, if you want him, you can get him. It doesn't matter how you look. Fat, short, tall. If you think you're not attractive, okay? It be girls that... Other women say, oh, why is that sexy ass dude with that girl? She's always, she's only all right. That goes to show you, it's not about looks so much. It's about, 
your charisma. You know, it's about like what you bring to the table. Are you funny? How was your personality? You know, it's it's all of that in one, you know, and for me, ever since then, I used that feminine charm, that feminine energy to attract any guy I wanted. And I hope this girl talk kind of gave me a little bit of insight on how to do it. This is going to take years of experience, but if you have the basic qualities down packed, then it's going to take you far. So just make sure if you want to attract the guy you want, let's do a little recap. Make sure that you dress sexy. Like you see this outfit I have on, it's perfect. It screams sexy, but it's not doing so much as a casual bodysuit. You see the eye contact I'm giving. You see my lips, you guys, the accessories. You know, when you when you when you look like a baddie on the outside, you know, and, and you match that in the inside, there's no like the sky's the limit, okay? I hope I wasn't all over the place, ladies. But um good luck and comment below if you did what I said and it worked for you, because it definitely work for me i'm currently single and celibate but um i do feel like you know the next time i'm um, a guy you know cross my path and i really like him i will be doing this because this works like a charm every single time i love you ladies until next time bella gang or no gang comment below what video you want me to see do next